weather's clearing up. We're just having a bit of rain, thunderstorms, all right. New York weather is weird as fuck. But currently on my way to Coney Island. I don't know why a random thought of Coney Island, like cruising to Coney Island, just popped in my head, but it did. And now I want to go, and now I'm actually going. And uh, I'll probably swing by Nathan's and grab one of those infamous Nathan's hot dogs and just chill for a little bit and catch the scenery and just enjoy the ride there. The ride going to your destination is always what makes the ride the ride. If that makes any sense. I don't know if that made sense, but people that ride bikes know what I'm talking about. But anyways, currently on the Belt Parkway, not my favorite highway to be on. A bunch of um, wannabe street racers and stock cars weaving through traffic. Usually, but uh, right now it's calm. And uh, we'll see if it stays that way. Should have been in that lane. Sucks. It's not as bad as it usually is. And I, for one, am not a big fan of uh, white lining, I really don't like doing it. Just because the nature in New York is someone sees a gap and they just kind of swing their car and go for it, they don't really look or check. Rocking the Alpine Stars gloves today. Well, I'm stuck with them because my other glove. I was uh, I was pumping gas at the gas station, and I usually take off my glove, and I put the quick release gas cap on the glove because it doesn't just prop open like the OEM one. And so when I did that, my glove was resting right here, and uh, I was just pumping gas, not paying attention, and it just overfilled and it volcanoed out and literally all of it landed on the glove and soaked it and so i had to use my other glove to kind of clean up and uh i didn't want to stick i didn't want to stick gasoline soaked gloves in my pocket to try to take home and wash them or anything so i just said screw it and threw them in the trash said i'll just buy another pair these gloves i'm not a fan of they're great they look cool carbon fiber uh knuckle guard and all that alpine stars yada 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 but they're just so thick that it doesn't give me like a proper feel. I don't like the feel of it. Like anytime I stall this bike, I'm wearing these gloves because I just can't, I can't get the feel of the clutch, the throttle, nothing. It like numbs the feel of everything for me, if that makes sense. Whereas the other glove, it's so thick. Well, it's so thin, not thick, that I can just feel everything. It's kind of like I'm barehanded and I'm not a fan of riding barehanded. So that's why I'm not doing that now. I really don't wear gloves for protection. I, I wear them just for feel. That's that's really it. Um, that's what it comes down to. So uh, yeah, these are cool gloves though. They were kind of expensive. I brought them over at Cycle Gear in Hicksville, which is on Long Island. I actually brought them to wear for my MSF course, and. Um, I don't know, I just, I feel like they never broken in. Either that or I just got the wrong size, I don't really know. But I brought them for my MSF course and uh, kept them around. Good thing I didn't throw them out. Oh, it's like perfect riding weather right now, yo. 
it's like 80 degrees but it just finished raining so it's like nice and chill not humid perfect perfecto pissed the other day now that i actually have a gopro and i record a little bit of shit here and there and all that i see the issues that people have yo like i was recording the other day i was going for a nice sunset ride and i'm recording and i ran into this fucking kick-ass s2000 which is a, a convertible honda for those of you that don't know and it was so fire and the dude was like riding out with his chick or whatever and um i think i was saying some shit i forgot what i was saying but Dude, none of the audio from that ride, I don't know where it went, like it just vanished. I was so pissed, man, so pissed. That was a nice little sunset ride too. But um, I still have the clip of the S2000, so I'll throw that up. I'll probably throw it in right here, why not? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. You see so many people just doing so much odd shit while they're driving. Alright, so we got out of uh, traffic for a little bit. So nice. I love passing over this fucking bridge. So scenic. So we're coming up on our exit now. downshifts sound way better than auto blips changed my mind <laughs> they just sound so much more aggressive but anyways here we are Brooklyn New York and um Just out here enjoying the ride um i haven't been to coney island since i was a kid so well actually that's a lie i've been to coney island in like 2014 when i was going through this whole photography phase and i wanted to like take cool pictures 2014 i was going through this big photography phase and um i actually came here to like shoot pics and stuff when when it was closed though but like to actually come to the amusement park and hang out and have fun and eat and drink and fucking go on rides and all that. I haven't done that since I was a kid. My dad used to take me here a lot when I was younger. Like, we used to come here, like, every weekend almost. We used to come here, like, every weekend. And, um... My favorite ride was, uh, obviously the go-karts. <laughs> I used to get on the go-karts over and over and over and over again, yo, like... 
just like ever since I was young, I just loved the adrenaline and going fast and challenging myself and seeing how late I could break into a corner and shit like that. I just love doing ever since I was young. So that's what I would do. I would just jump on the go-karts. I didn't care about any other ride. Um, I did go on the cycling a couple of times and every time I went on it, it was super fucking sketchy. Um, Honestly, I don't know how that fucking thing passes like any sort of safety inspection. The thing is run down, it's missing boards, it's it's pretty fucking dilapidated, I'm not gonna lie. Like that thing is the last time I went on it was because my sister uh dared me to and um you know male eagle and such. It's like what you dare me? And uh yeah, I jumped my ass on that thing. But every time I've been to Coney Island, um I've seen the cyclone get stuck. I remember one time this this lady's wig like or whatever it was it had to be a wig right everything else doesn't come off extensions weave and shit like that usually sew it in but anyways her hair flew off and uh when the cyclone went to go do another round or another loop fucking thing got stuck on her hair man it was crazy shit but uh, I am not surprised I'm actually surprised that they haven't revamped it like it's such a big attraction, why wouldn't you just do it over and like make more people want to come? shitty Brooklyn neighborhood. <laughs> I'm just kidding. For those of you that live in Brooklyn, if you ever come across this video, don't fucking, don't come out my head. I'm just saying jokes, man. There's a cyclone. No. See, see if I could grab an infamous picture by the uh, cyclone here. <laughs> Look, uh, that guy's having the time of his life. Shout out to him. I wasn't even thinking. But uh, definitely going to get me a cyclone pick. I mean, Coney Island, you got to do that kind of shit. Got to be a tourist. Death note, for those of you that know, you know. See portrait mode. Now I gotta be farther, further back. Now I gotta do a regular photo mode. Thank you. Oh, I don't want this car. Oh, dude, that's sick. <laughs> They redid the whole boardwalk down there. Super cool, super nice beach. Um, look at all these other rides. That look at that shit. I would never get on that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't get on like a majority of these rides, dude. You guys are braver than me. I'd probably get on the Ferris wheel, but that swinging shit, nah. I'm good. I'll pass. Hard pass on that one. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna head out to Nathan's, grab me a little dog, and just chill. <laughs> See how good my, uh... not bad. My tight turns. Oh, 
let's go. I like her fit. Huge fan of docks. Somebody was doing burnouts here. <laughs> oh shit, all over. One time for the little kid, why not? <laughs> I don't know what it is with kids and motorcycles. They fucking love it. Probably because it's loud and obnoxious like them. <laughs> Shout out to anybody that has kids. I'm just joking. I'm just fucking around. Those guys weren't paying attention. Oh, some bikes out here. Fuck it. I'll just park up next to these guys. No idea who they are, but uh, fuck it, why not? Ugh. Nice Jixxon 1000, old school joint. <laughs> You're online? No, no, they oh. Be at right here at okay, gotcha. Huh? You be riding in that tape too? Yeah, yeah. That's dope, bro. I got that uh that end bike right there. Up, yeah. The yeah, it. it's an action camera, so um it gets like little portions of riding and shit. Yeah. It's like a dash camera kind of. Man, I like that. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> so what's that line over there then? That's four line. Okay. Oh, so what Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Hi. Hello, good afternoon. May I have one hot dog, please? Plain. And a Coca Cola. Um, small. Eight forty-three. Eight forty-three. Holy shit! <laughs> you guys are taxing. I get it, it's because of Coney Island, the famous Nathan's. How much? That's insane. But I, you guys are like the world famous and all that, so. I guess. You guys had the hot dog contest, the fourth, right? Yeah, we did, but it wasn't here. Yeah. Right, right. I saw the crowd, it had to be. Thank you, though. Yeah. I'm not blowing past nobody. Just text Even the keys is Suzuki key, you know that, right? Oh, he's there? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking copycats. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you guys. me and Nathan's dog those are biker dudes came up and we was kicking shit for a little bit um, cool dudes and uh, we we're just hanging out talking and shit like that and um, Yeah, I enjoyed my little ride here, man. Time to go home now and just... Relax for the day. Get the hell out of Brooklyn. <laughs>